Oshkosh is a global leader in the design, production, and sustainment of best-in-class military vehicles and mobility systems. For over 100 years, Oshkosh has designed, tested, and manufactured a robust portfolio of heavy, medium, light, and highly protected military vehicles and technologies to support our customers' missions. Every Oshkosh vehicle is backed by a dedicated team of technical experts, a global logistics and supplier network, and a complete range of life cycle sustainment services to optimize fleet readiness and performance. Oshkosh has delivered tens of thousands of military trucks and variants to more than 20 countries. Let us examine the top seven of these vehicles. At number one, the MRAP All-Terrain Vehicle. The Oshkosh M80V is a mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle or MRAP intended to replace M1114 Humvee. The M80V proved to be more survivable than the Humvee and was lighter than other MRAP versions. The M80V entered service with the U.S. Army in 2009. It is designed to provide the same levels of protection as the larger and heavier previous MRAPs, but with improved mobility. Truly a multi-purpose vehicle, the MATV is able to operate on every area of the battlefield and serve such functions as command and control, troop transport, shelter carrier, towed weapons mover, armament carrier, tow missile system carrier, and even ambulance. At number 2, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle is another program created to replace some of the Humvee vehicles with a family of vehicles that are safer and can carry more. It's a program run by both the Army and the Marine Corps that gives troops and supply vehicles and trailers that can do more than one job and keep moving while being protected, connected, and safe during all types of military activities. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle is designed to be mobile, reliable, while easy to keep and staying within weight limits so that it can be taken to and from battle in a tactical way. At number 3, the Medium Tactical Vehicle Replacement the Medium Tactical Vehicle Replacement, or MTVR, is a series of 6x6 all-wheel vehicles used by the U.S. Marines. The new truck offers greater mobility, payload, and reliability. Over 11,000 of MTVR trucks were delivered by 2012. The MTVR can carry a payload of 7 tons or up to 15 tons, driving on smoother surfaces, while simultaneously being able to tow an 11-ton load. The MTVR is highly adaptable for any cargo hauling, carrying, or winching. Its wide versatility makes the MTVR an integral part of the Marine Corps logistical backbone. This vehicle is the prime mover for the M777 howitzer, troops, fuel, water, and a wide variety of other equipment. At number 4, the family of medium tactical vehicles. The FMTV is one of the most versatile vehicles in the United States Army fleet. The family of medium tactical vehicles is actually a series of vehicles that are based on a common chassis. The amount and size of cargo that can be transported varies based on the configuration, payload, and the mission requirements. The FMTV can be used to transport troops and supplies and recover disabled vehicles and weapon systems, as well as for line haul operations. Oshkosh has delivered approximately 35,700 FMTV trucks and trailers to the U.S. Army and National Guard since 2010. All vehicles of the family of FMTVs are powered by a six-cylinder Caterpillar C7 heavy-duty diesel engine rated at 330 horsepower. At number 5, the Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. In short, we call it HEMTT. It is an 8x8 diesel off-road tactical truck used by the U.S. Army. Nicknamed as the Dragon Wagon, the 10-ton vehicle first went into service with the U.S. Army in 1985. The key mission of the HEMTT is to offer heavy transport capabilities for resupply of combat vehicles and weapon systems. The huge payload capacity and off-road capabilities make it a key logistics player. More than 13,700 HEMTTs were produced between 1995 and March 2020. The HEMTTs have several variants in six configurations. They can be cargo trucks, fuel-serving trucks variant, tractor loads, 
load handling system trucks, bridge transporter trucks, and recovery vehicles with cranes and winches. At number 6, the Heavy Equipment Transporter. The Heavy Equipment Transporter, or HET, is a military logistics vehicle used primarily for delivery of the M1 Abrams. It is used to transport, deploy, and evacuate armored personnel carriers, self-propelled artillery, bulldozers, and other heavy vehicles. Driving armored cars for more than 100 miles causes problems with both the vehicles and the people who are driving them. The HET keeps the armored vehicles from getting worn down when they don't need to be. This saves money, since running and maintaining armored vehicles costs a lot. Since the armored vehicles don't have to self-deploy to the battlefield, they won't break down on the way there, which means that more fighting vehicles will be ready for war. At number 7, the Palletized Load System The Oshkosh Palletized Load System is built to carry ammunition and other critical supplies, as has proven its ability in frontline resupply missions in all types of environments, in all types of terrains. The PLS, a 16.5-ton truck with its 6,000-horsepower Caterpillar C-15 engine, is the backbone of the resupply and distribution system, providing unparalleled efficiency and performance for loading, unloading, and delivering materials. It is a wide range of cargo and it is specifically designed to load and unload a variety of flat-track or ISO-compatible containers, all on its own with a hydraulic load handling system. The PLS is currently used by five countries. And that's it for today. Don't forget to hit that notification and subscription button for more exciting and interesting videos from the buzz. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.